Hello, hello everybody. I hope we're all keeping very well today. Dating and development here. If you know who I am, you know who I am. If you don't know who I am, now you know. And welcome to the channel. If you're listening to this on any streaming service, thank you very much for tuning in. You have my utmost appreciation. And checking the uh, Spotify statistics, or should I say the Anchor FM statistics, we are now being listened to in North Carolina, which is pretty mad. I'm very happy about that. That's kind of cool. So, before we get started, we have a word from a very kind sponsor. Hamburger, please! What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Can I have a hamburger, please? Thank you for that. So, today's topic is based on a lecture <laughs> I did for the course I was talking about, and it's all to do with body language. Now, this part of the course was heavily influenced by a portion in Christopher Canwell's book, Atomic Attraction. He runs an excellent YouTube channel called Develop Attraction. Really worthwhile checking out, he's fantastic. He kind of goes into the whole psychological aspect of women and attraction, he gives great case studies and everything. So I have utmost appreciation for him. He's absolutely fantastic. His videos are short, sweet, and straight to the point. So without further ado, we're going to talk about body language in women when they're attracted to you. So I hope you enjoy, and I shall talk to you at the end of that lecture. Now, when it comes to showing that a woman is attracted to you, her words can be one thing, but there's one thing that does not lie. It's her body language. So. In this lecture, we're going to be focusing on the following. Discuss how women communicate when she is interested. Focus on non-verbal cues. You have five non-verbal cues. Eye contact, smiling, communication, preening, and touch. And how her body shows that she is not interested. I'm going to give you a fact right now. And it might turn your brain into a galaxy brain. This big brain time. And the fact is this, so pull up your socks and listen. Contrary to popular belief, where men think they make the first move a woman, it's actually women who initiate the first move. I'm not talking 50% of the time women do it. I'm talking 90% of the time. And that's done through eye contact. So, if a woman glances at you and looks away, Cool. If you approach her, it'd be a lot more positive in her response. However, she will show that she has a bit higher level of interest if she looks at you for about five seconds, looks away, and smiles. But not smiling at you like she's going to murder you. As in, when she glances and looks away, she smiles while she looks away. And she looks at you again. So eye contact's a big thing. Right, next one is smiling. A smile from a woman is an invitation to go over and talk to her because she likes what she sees. Now, if she smiles at you and gives you eye contact and you hesitate and wait half an hour to go over to her, then don't bother because that shows to her that you do not have confidence. And no woman wants that because what's one of the most attractive things to a woman is confidence so if you hesitate you will masturbate easy as right next up we have communication what do i mean the man and woman talking to each other now what i recommend when a man talks to a woman is to keep things light fun and simple your main goal is just to relax and have fun and to make her smile. If you can do that and have that mindset when talking to her, then everything will be made that bit easier for you. Playful banter and joking is perfectly fine. That's all good. And here's a little tip for you. That if she is laughing at your jokes and they're not really that funny, then that shows she has some sort of interest in you, which is always a good thing. 
So for conversation, keep things light, fun, and simple. And if she's reciprocating questions to you, that means she wants to know you more. So always keep that in mind. Okay. Preening is perhaps one of the most important stages when a woman shows whether she is attracted to you or not. In this case, she is advertising her attraction towards you in things she does with her body. Now, I don't mean that you're going to be in the middle of a nightclub and she just strips off entirely naked. That's not what we're getting at. So, in the book Atomic Attraction by Chris Cannibal, he states that these are the things women do when preening to show their interest. She blushes when talking. She touches her neck and throat. She frequently giggles and laughs. Her breathing becomes deep and heavy. She licks her lips, drawing attention to them. She lets out a soft whimper or nervous laughter. She points her body towards you, especially her knees and her feet. She dangles her shoe from her foot, symbolizing the rhythm of sexual intercourse. Saucy. She reveals the underside of her wrist in a gesture of submission. She strokes a phallic object like her finger or a wine glass to let you know what she's really thinking. Oh yeah. Playing with Lego. Hell yeah. She plays with her hair and strokes it. One of the most common indicators of interest. And she drops her gaze and looks at the ground in a gesture of submission. Those are the following things women do when preening. And finally, we have touch. So, if a woman touches you on the arm or on the back or anything, she's giving you interest to touch her back. Now, I do not mean this in a sexual way as of yet, or in a very aggressive way. What I mean is by placing your hand on the top of her back, when guiding her out the door, or even touching her arm. I do not advocate going with this aggressively or sexually, so please man, have some class. Now you know how women show their interest through body language. I think it's fair to talk about what they will do to show that they're not interested through body language. So, here are the following things that they will do. They will cross their legs when they're talking to you. Their body will be facing away from you so their toes aren't pointed towards you or anything. Personal objects be moved out of the way. They try and distance themselves from you and their wrists will be facing towards the ground instead of facing up towards you. Nor will she preen herself as well. Well, I hope you found the information shared there quite useful. Now, when it comes to body language, body language is going to be one of the most important things in your arsenal to decipher and that shall cipher whether or not someone is attracted to you or not. Because more often than not, body language can conflict with what a person says to you. So you have to be in an eye out for that. And when it comes to attraction in terms of men and women, it's very different in the sense that men are a lot more visual based when it comes to attraction. So say if this drop dead gorgeous girl walks into a room and all the heads turn just to look at her, that kind of explains it, fairly self-explanatory. However, when it comes to women, you have to make a woman feel safe and comfortable around you. You have to establish that trust because she's not going to open herself up to you if there is no trust or comfortable or comfort there, should I say. And you gotta be well aware of that. Least not to mention when it comes to women as well, state out your intentions first. If you're interested in just casually dating, just say you're interested in casually dating, if you want a relationship at some stage, be open to a relationship at some stage. Now, I know there's dating coaches in that saying lead them on, and I know women can lead women on as well, and so can men. But it's better off just to be honest and have your intentions laid out straight away. Because honesty can be the best policy, and it saves a lot of time wasting for everyone. But yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, please. If you're listening to this on any streaming service, podcast streaming service like Spotify or Apple Podcasts, please tell other people about it. And stay safe. 
take care of yourselves. Don't be a stranger, as I would say to some people. <laughs> and yeah, be better. And I'll talk to you next time. And always go for more. This is Dating Development. Over and out.